Central Bank of Nigeria. Good morning, sir. Good morning. Good morning, Via. Compliments on the season. Same to you. Thank it's good you. to see you again, sir. So it's good to see you again, sir. Oh, thank you very much indeed. <laughs> so how was the celebration for you, sir? Well, we thank God. Mm. Okay, the first thing that I really want to ask this year is... Uh, 2017 is about um, ending, and uh, we're looking at uh, the year 2018 budget, and there's been various um, committee meetings, you know. 2017 budget, how far have we really implemented it, and um, how well did we do? Well, the, at the time the 2018 budget was presented, mm. we knew that the 2017 budget was still so much lacking, mm. I mean, lagging behind. And as it is today, not much uh, still appears to have been achieved. Mm. And everything now is being threatened by the fuel crisis in which we have uh, found ourselves. Okay. So um, there, is, there, is, there is need for the government to really juggle things up. Mm. Otherwise, we are going to be in a very serious uh, economic uh, situation. Okay. And the funny thing about this uh, fuel crisis is that it's had, it has become a perennial thing during the, the festivities, end of the year like that. But during the year, the vice president gave the impression that all these um, Delta chaps mm -hmm. um, who were being the Niger Delta accused of um, illegally refining the products. Okay. that they were going to be sort of brought into the mainstream of production. You know, mm. the EU is that modular uh, refineries are what is, what is uh, obtainable all over the world. Now, nobody now thinks of all these gigantic uh, these things. So one would have thought that it was an opportunity for us to really harness those uh, mean, um, Maybe we we'll call them mini refineries okay. to get into the system. It is really um, embarrassing okay. that Nigeria, being the seventh, sixth or seventh largest producer of crude, mm. and we still import the bulk of our uh, consumption. And unfortunately, we are not even doing enough to really, you know, the Bible says that it's a fool that does not roast what, it, uh, what he has killed while, while hunting. I don't know why we believe that it's better for us to export our crude than go and pay to bring in the same uh, uh, this thing, refined food, rather than food, refining our, pro our products and exporting refined products. Mm. So there's no way we can now really assess what we are, because the ERPG that the government uh, uh, produced in, I think it was 2016, mm. were projecting about 7% um, growth yes. by the year 2020. That has become horribly uh, unrealistic now. Mm. And un unless something is done to really stem this crisis we have on our hands, mm. There, is, there are going to be a lot of distortions in the economy. So the government needs to do something very, very quick, critical okay. about this issue of the fuel distance. So there's no way we can now really achieve all the projections we had earlier in the year. Mm. Although, well, the idea was that during the year, we're going to diversify from uh, being a monocultural economy. Mm. They were going to have more contributions from the non oil non sector. sector. Unfortunately, that has not really materialized. Yes, there were efforts to especially uh, boost the agri sector. Mm. I know that uh, Ogun State st uh, started its um, rice uh, production, Lagos State and Lagos and Kebi. We're also doing something about that. And I think there was a time we even tried to export yam, yeah, okay. although I understand the, quality, the quality, quality was the, not good was enough. Not accepted them overseas. Uh -huh. yeah. So, this I, because we, so long as we are monocultural, mm. 
we are looking for trouble. Well, there is a sharing news though that the oil price has actually peaked at about sixty-five dollars for quite, I mean, in, uh, that's about the highest in the last two years. Mm. So we really need to do something, okay, to get the um, our fuel, okay. Especially the, I, I really can't understand what our problem is. And I think it's the selfishness and greed of the people who are in China. Because I believe it's such a straightforward thing. I once suggested that, okay, if we have uh, damaged all our refineries, why don't you go and lease one outside? Yeah. Lease our crude at cost okay. to those places. Then get the crude refined, then bring it back to us and distribute. That way will only be adding the cost of transportation uh, so both that, ways. So that, that option is a more cost effective. Much, much, very much, much, much cost effective. Mm. And also, I, I, in fact, if we adopt that, we probably will have fuel going for as low as about 100. Okay, well said. Okay. But away from fuel, I know that is what is really biting uh, most Nigerians yes. right now. But let's just look uh, critically at um, how far you know the the citizenry you know has actually benefited from the economy this year. We, uh, I don't know, a lot of people don't agree with that. That uh, this year has been a time of um, wars. You know, specifically, you know, most state and government couldn't really pay. Uh, salaries for a very long time. Pensioners were protested all over the country this year and um, there were loads of protests both in Lagos and Abuja, you know, concerning the issue of governance right now. You know, what, what, didn't we fail, what did we fail to realize that we were supposed to do that we did not do? No, um, you know, the government, like I've said, we have continued to be monocultural. Mm. And we were given the uh, hope that the, especially the agri sector and all that, would mm. be uh, made to contribute more to the GDP this year. To the GDP, yeah, GDP this year. But what we have achieved is not really much to write home about. Mm. Yes, the economy improved slightly. At least, um, when you compare the third quarter to uh, in 2017 to 2016, I think we moved from a negative in 2016 to a positive about one percent growth. That's marginal. It's very very marginal, but at least it's still an improvement. Mm. Okay. Now, but the government really has to really get to tackle the EU of this our uh, over dependence on mm, oil. oil. Mm. Mm. We've been talking there has been so much talk about diversification and all that, but we had thought that okay, the government wanted to really do something about uh, the agri sector especially okay. this year. We were talking of rice being from mm. I mean because the amount being spent on rice, on importing rice had been I mean, enormous. Mm. So we thought that, okay, if they were able to do something about that, mm. the economy would, would have more contribution from the, mm. um, from the agri sector. sector. Mm. And then we would not be spending the scarce foreign reserve <coughs> to even import food. <coughs> so we're talking of food sufficiency mm. and all that. But unfortunately, uh, nothing much is being achieved in that area. Okay. And very soon we'll be talking of 2019. So governors will take a back seat. Mm. So, okay. the, so the earlier, the, I, I do hope that the government will really do something mm. about this over dependence on uh, crude. Mm. Fortunately, like I said, well, it seems that the, we are getting something from. Uh, the, 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 the signs are that the um, price of crude is going up a bit, but then we also have a situation where 
Right now, they are talking of the landing cost of uh, fuel being 174. Mm -hmm. So there is still this uh, distortion. Okay. So the government needs to do, we really need to know what exactly is going on. Mm -hmm. We were told that subsidy has stopped, mm -hmm. but now the thing is being imported at 174 according to mm -hmm. the um, template. And it's been sold at 174. I'm sorry, at 145. Mm -hmm. So there's a difference of some uh, 20. What? So. Mm -hmm. 29. Okay. okay. All right, it's, I, still, I it's, still, it's still Galaxy today. Uh, I'm just um, being told that uh, we need to take um, a quick break. Uh, we need to change a bit of um, some technical issues. Uh, we'll be right back in a moment. Uh, stay with us. <laughs> 